Aloha players, it's your Warboss Tay up in this mood. And here is day 9 of Project Dwarves. Dwarves, not Wood Elves. But Project Dwarves, or Project Stunties. P.S. This project is well underway. We're picking up steam again. It's full steam powered ahead. And as you can see, I put the base coats on my unit of Quarrelers, which is what I wanted to do. Um, obviously, I haven't done the gold nuggets for the base work. I haven't finished their bases. The next step is to actually paint the gold with dwarven bronze onto all of the models because all I've done now is put bolt gun metal for all the silver pieces and now that that's dry I'm going to go back over and pick out the gold details like the, the edges of the pipes, the cogs on the crossbows and any other little bits of gold that I want to pick out onto the, onto the actual model and then I will give these guys a wash tomorrow and then I will do some basic highlighting and as you can see we've got our standard bearer and two of the line troops up here watching over them checking over checking out the progress writing down writing down things in their little baby book of grudges and um, yeah so th this is the quality that I am aspiring to gonna add some more blondes and gingers into the rest of these guys but uh, basically I just tried to mix and match the colors of the sleeves predominantly blue sleeves and um, some reds very few reds very few greens because those are more for the warriors but still incorporating blue on every model as the as a spot color for the quarrelers that no other unit has here's my uh, champion I'm planning to make him a ginger and he's got his little mug of ale so I, I love this little bit on the dwarven, um, the dwarven sprue. I think it comes off of the warrior's sprue, but I just gave it to this guy because he needed a left hand and uh, painted the foam on the top and some of the ale spilling out the back. So that was pretty fun. This fun little character piece, and I'm planning to do some staining on the on the drumsticks here to make it look like wood, maybe like a deep oak or maple or, or something just to make it look like uh, just a little bit different from all the steel that's around him and iron but yeah let me know what you think and um, thanks for checking out my progress for today so I get a little bit of a look at these guys here's their uh, two-handed weapons I decided to be consistent with the two-handed axes on their backs and just paint them all with dark flesh for the handle oh, my super glue fell down and you'll also notice that I gave most of these guys all little little bags of crossbow bolts. They come in with the models and um, I just think they're so awesome. So wherever I could find room on the model I stuck a little quiver, little baby quiver. Some of them have bolts, some of them are, are empty. And some of them are like attached to a little a little pouch. See if I can find a different one that doesn't just have bolts in it. Yeah, so here's an empty one, or one that's used for, for another purpose and is, is clasped shut. But yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some more ginger dwarves and some more blonde dwarves, but the good thing is that Calton Brown is the base for all of them. So, I got to paint just a whole bunch of dwarves with Calton Brown base. Some of them I'll just leave Calton Brown, maybe that rich dark uh, brown once you have some bad ab black or dwar or um, devlin mud in the recesses it should look really nice but definitely want to put some ginger dwarves and blonde dwarves back in and um, yeah thanks for watching please stay tuned for more for this project for day 10 where I'm going to be doing washing and then more highlighting and um, join up I've got already two video responses on my last pro uh, project dwarves update where you know, some guys um, were awesome enough to submit their painting challenge videos. So let's 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 keep the momentum going, and um, and I encourage all of you to to have good painting and speedy painting, and may the paint gods and the brush gods watch o watch over you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting this project. I feel really inspired to complete it, and I feel like I'm well on the way to doing that. Thanks to all of your compliments and kind words. And um, yeah, let's just keep this project going. Let's keep challenging ourselves to get better. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next update. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.